sometimes you find a good deal. Sometimes you don't. Um, I was on eBay actually looking and I came across blister packs for set boosters. And the guy wanted $3.50 for them. Roughly. I can't really remember the exact price. $3.50. I think I purchased like 25 of them, 26. But then I went and did my normal looking once a month. I go on Craigslist. And I came across someone selling these. They were asking three bucks for them. I'm like, could you do two bucks, you know, for a piece? You know, two bucks each. He said no. He went to $2.25. I would have put $2.25 in the title, but it just seemed a little off. But I got these here for $2.25. Not bad. I think that's a pretty good deal. So looking inside, what we will find is going to be a wild ride. Um, up to four rares. These are the new set boosters, but they're in blister pack form, which I thought was pretty neat. So let's get to cracking these. I think I have a total of 22 here, right? 22? Yes. I want to say 20. Yeah, 22. So $2.25 um, to that. So there you have it. That's a good deal. If you guys ever come across any good deals um, similar to that, make sure I'm recording, uh, let me know. Um, because they're out there. You'd be surprised. Now, how this guy is able to sell them for so dirt cheap is just beyond me. I have no clue. Uh, planes, there you have it. Bada bang. Not bad. Full arts foil. Uh, we'll take it. All right. Followed by Marasa. Some of this, some of that. Oh, the Thundering Spark Mage. Nobody cares. Mace. Here we go. Getting into the crazy stuff. Getting into the crazy stuff. Come on. Oh, we need to hit uh, a good one of these list cards because if not chef Whoopi, you know chef Whoopi will take over we really really want to hit a good list card so that's our foil okay so the first pack not so good but i couldn't resist purchasing these and you'll see the second opening um for the ebay ones also um, once they arrive but i think i'll be giving out some of those too to um to patrons to subscribers just stuff like that you know at random uh but these ones i just i couldn't resist baby too good of a deal planes and uh okay make a plane pile i guess there you go uh, one of these one of that one of those come on i'm just looking for the good stuff we're looking to see the value coming back baby can the value come back this way uh charger not bad and the rabid bite okay so we are st oh ha, ha, ha! what do we got here call ash hair is that picking up good there we go let me move it over here a little bit uh, air to black blade. That was the old future side stuff, man. They're each equal to the number of swamps you control. And then for two, you can regenerate it. Grandia. Yeah. Discard another card name. Call our, uh, air to black. Search your library for two swamp cards. Put them in the value of ten. That probably go good with landfall triggers, but it's in black, so it's kind of weird. But not bad. Uh, so we got. Uh, I think that's a decent one. I'm not sure. I think I also have that in like a promo version or something. I can't be too certain on that either. I think I might have it in a promo version. That's pretty legit. Okay, so we got a... I don't, I don't know the value on it. <laughs> I don't know the value on it. Um, I guess like under five bucks, but that's cool. But Okay, so far, not bad. Not bad with the pools, baby. Not bad with the pools. I'm going to mix the, the lands with these things just so uh, the video goes smoother here. Okay, on to Uncommons. As you guys know, you can find some really crazy stuff inside of here. Looks like we might have some crazy stuff. If the rare starts out pretty early, you know you got more than one rare. Oh! All right, so we start with the Felidar Retreat, which sees a bunch of play. A Mar Maria's Call, which I think is the weaker of all of these uh, mythic uh, mythic lands they dropped recently. And Cargan Intimidator. Wow. Cabbage. Let's make a mythic pile, too, for fun. Uh, the Intimidator and an ox. I think there's one more behind this. I think there is. Here we go. <sighs> List card. All right. Hit the Drake. We got Drake, guys. Drake showed up in today's video. It's amazing. All right. So that was cool to see a mythic out of that. We will take it. What other craziness can we find here? Okay. Got this guy. Got this guy. We got the mountain. And nada. Okay. There is a funny story, though. Man, twice I have came across this dude at Walmart, and um, he sold me packs out of his trunk for dirt cheap. I swear. I think the guy's in jail or something. <laughs> it's sketchy. I have not seen him since then. Um, it was over the course of like a year or two, but I have not seen him since. So uh, I don't know if he was scamming things out the back door. I don't know if he was an employee. I don't know what the case is, you know, but something was sketch about that. But he was selling similar stuff. 
Um, Kaza, a Royal Chaser, followed by Diviner. I would love to come across him again, though. Diviner Boy and Crown of Empires. Okay, so there you have it. We got ourselves another list card. That is something. Uh, stacking up all the, uh, the the foils here as well. So two list cards. I wonder, hey, that's uh, odds right now are pretty good for pulling the list. Odds are pretty good. Does anyone have a good list pool? Brag. Let's hear it. Let's hear your story about your good list pool, because I have not really had any good list pools yet uh, from this list. And if you guys are interested in what the, what's on the list, just type in the list in Bad Boy Gaming. I did a whole video uh, discussing every card that's in the, on the list. It's like 300 of them or something. It's pretty crazy. Okay, Inscription of Insight. Bada boosh. And... Oh. Cabbage. All right. Marauding Blight Priest is our foil. And that's not the back. Um, really hit or miss. And there's an insect token on the back. Some of you get crazy if I don't show the tokens. You're like, why didn't you do it, Joey? You've forsaken me. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And I, I just talk just like you. It's weird. All right. Angel Warrior on the back. Jace. Some of these are going for a pretty penny, too, if you get the golden scripted ones or whatever. But I think the price on them is going to tank. Uh, I would assume they would. I hope they make them with actual autograph uh, signatures from the artist. I think that'd be really cool if that ever happened. Holy crap, so we got like four uh, uncommons. Mall of Skyclaves, fun little card. Nothing too crazy there, but we got her. And the Relic Axe. I don't think you could pull a foil of the list cards either, so there's that. All right, and we have our Angel Warrior token. Okay, cool. Still looking for that good, baby. Still looking for that good good. There are, I think, $80, $90 pools in here that you could get your hands on. And that's not that's not cheap, man. Any gold cards? No. Maybe the person weighed these and realized there's nothing gold. Maybe the gold weighs a tiny bit more. Or maybe there's just something to it, you know, that I'm missing. And they just weigh, like, a little bit more with that gold stuff. So maybe, hey, if there's none out of all these, maybe that's why he sold them for so cheap. That would make some sense, honestly. Uh, Skyclaves. And we got old Warrior Boy here. Scorch Rider. Nilia, God of the Hunt. All right, we got a Mythic uh, from Theros. Not a bad one. Um, she's decent. I'm not sure the value again, but still cool pool. Good to see the old stuff. I like seeing some older cards. And Theros isn't even that old. What's this, three, four years ago? When I first got back into Magic after like a, oh God, was it 14, 13 year hiatus? Uh, Theros was one of the first sets I went back to. So that was pretty cool. Already we're up to three. Is that three? Am I right? I thought we had four. No, we have three. Three out of like not many packs. So that's pretty cool. All right, we got Goblin Construct. Whoa, oh, 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 okay, we saw something there. Nothing there, nothing there. I thought that was a misprint. Nope, okay. So there are themes to this, I guess, as well. For anyone wondering, there is some kind of like weird theme going on with all this. Um, where, I don't know how they do it. I guess you guys can try to figure it out, what the theme is. Like this one, I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, I don't know what the theme would be if I had to guess. Felidar and all of its alternates. So we are putting an alternate pile together. Sentinel, Hagra, Mauling, coming at you, baby. And all that cool stuff. Oh, and Blightblade. There you go. Like the art on that. Looks like a little ninja. You know, slice and dice, baby. All right. Oh, okay. I'm trying my best not to bow the cards at all. Um, it doesn't actually cause damage, I notice, like after I do shipping and stuff. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. Sometimes I push a little hard with my thumb. I'm sure you guys have caught that a little bit. But I'm going to try to open it slightly different. We'll see. Boom! Okay. There's a cool card. We'll see. We'll see ya. And then a, uh, one of these, one of those, one of these. Relic. Gallon Boy. Okay. Boot Camp. There you go. Uh, so, to my soldiers out there. Sneak. Oh, Tazri. Okay. Got another uh, Mythic here. That would be our third Mythic uh, total. Not bad. So three Mythics hitting. Uh, followed by Yasharn. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Man. Ooh, Hagra. Okay. That's cool. Interesting to see you. Nice foil. And this guy. All right. So we got the Hagra. That's probably worth something. You know? It's got to be something. Am I right? It's got to be something. So we got one of these little bogus cards here. All right, man. There's so many piles now. Before, it was like you got a pile of rares, a pile of uh, Mythic if you wanted to, Uncommon and Common, and maybe like, you know, a land. Now they got tokens, and they got alternate this and alternate that and crazy this and foil hits of this, and it's just it's just madness. It's just madness, I tell you. It's madness. All right. Vision Boy. 
with uh, Beckoning. Ooh, this card has been seeing some competitive tournament play lately. This Magmatic Channeler, which I assumed it would. I have not make, made a deck with it yet. I haven't really had time to do the decks yet. Um, I have to make too many decks, but yeah, cool card nonetheless. Oh, God. Yes. Got the Ancient Green Warden. And you can get double mythics out of these. That's the coolest thing with these packs. You can get double mythics. So I jumped at the chance to get my hands on more of these. Um, oh, man. So, whoa. Hot dogs, man. That was a nasty, nasty little box there. Ancient Green Warden followed by uh, Break Climb uh, with uh, Grim Climb Pathway Flip. I don't. Can you get extended out of these? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Can you get extended art cards out of these? I don't think you can. I don't remember. I can't recall correctly. See? Maybe that's what happened. Maybe they weigh something different. Uh, foil Mount or Foil Mountain, pretty cool. Maybe they weigh a little different. I'm wondering, man, because we're not seeing any gold cards. But their gold cards aren't that uh, easy to get either. Uh, Spitfire Boy. One of these. One of these. Throne of... Cabbage. You know, like, you're just so underwhelming. It's amazing. All right. Maybe I'm wrong about that card. Maybe down the road. We'll see. All right, we got healer and nothing at the end there. Okay. Okay, we're cool. Okay. Man. Let's juice it up, baby. Let's juice it up. Here we go. It's about to get dirty. Any people that watch football out there, my Browns are finally doing good. I'm excited about that. That's all I got to say. How at you, boy. If, you got, if anyone watches sports out there, smash that like button. Um, I don't know how many of my fans do, though. I don't think too many. I don't think too many do. Whoa, we got a whole lot of blue there. So this is like a uh, graveyard shenanigan kind of build, uh, I would assume. Kind of, yeah, it's looking like graveyard shenanigans. Okay, so that's the theme on this one. Each bone sacrifice a creature. Yep, stuff, things, all right, cool. Soul Shatter and the Depths. Bada boom, in a foil. That's it, okay. Need to hit ourselves another one of these dirty cards. We need to get another list card right here. Here's the list. I'd say pool rate in blister packs is better. Um, then pool rate in regular booster packs. And someone made a good argument about this. I can't remember who it was, um, but they brought up a good point. And back in uh, the 90s, they would put um, in some collector, uh, not collector, but um, sports cards uh, packs, they would have a better pool rate than what you would get if you opened like a whole hobby box or something like that, you know. It was a, it was a different game back then, you know, with uh, sports cards. But I think... They make they put better pool rates for stuff in these packs um, because they hit stores um, like your big box stores like Walmart, you know, and all that. And um, they want someone to get something good so they come back and get more, you know, or get them hooked on the game, basically. Spoilers of Adventure, bada boosh, nice foil. And nothing in the back there. All right. But if anyone knows any more details on that, I'm curious uh, to hear that story because I believe it. It makes sense, you know. Oh, hot dogs. Okay, that's cool. So, I guess if this young man did not weigh these, I guess he just wanted to get rid of them. Donato. It's not delivery, it's Donato. Isn't that how it goes? All right, cool. So, we got uh, one of these gold cards. That's hot sauce. All right. Hot sauce, indeed. Ooh, anti-ignition, some of this, some of that. Anti-cognition, whatever. Uh, the healer boy. Chill depths. This. Ooh, the Felidar Retreat. In all of its uh, ex, uh, showcase art. That's cool. All right. So that, well, that goes in the showcase pile, I suppose. Solidarity and a slime foot the stowaway. All right. Not the best from the list. Again, haven't really pulled anything too dirty off the list. Um, cannot say we have. And that wasn't even old. That, that's not even that old. That's from Dominaria from like two years ago. Come on, Wizards. Great set, though. I, like, I, li I do like Dominaria. Boom. All right. So no more gold signature yet. Uh, we're working our way to another one. Can we pull something else that's dirty? It's all about the dirty, guys. Ooh, the nectar pot. Okay, that's cool. Nectar pot. One of these, one of those. Come on. Oh, yeah, daddy-o. A shy of soul of the wild. Sweet sauce, man. Really cool, because you can get a lot of value out of this card. So, that was a nice little pull. We will take it all day. Uh, nice hit mythics galore. Uh, synchronized spellcraft and nothing. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I had to make sure I was recording on the other screen, too. Oh, boy. Boom! Aw. Oh. 
It's all about that the chase cards now, man. You can't even lie. It's fun to open packs, but it's not what it used to be, guys. They made it so it's all about these crazy chase pulls. And it's I think it's warped a lot of players' minds, really, on how they um how they look at going out and picking up stuff like this. It's just a completely different game. Morasa, Ruth Grazer. People were excited for this card, and then they realized there's nothing to be excited about. So there you go. All right. <laughs> I was one of them. I was like, that looks like a cool card. I could do something, but... No, unfortunately, it didn't do much. All right. We are down to about six packs. Appreciate my skadoosh bags hanging in there, watching this one. Maybe we pull something exciting, get something dirty. Full art uh, lands are um, always welcome in the house. That's right. Almost full art. I don't know what you want to call it. Extended art? Extended art, for sure. All right. So we got white up in here with some blue. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Fresh Fire Elemental. Weird to see you in here with everything else considered. Kite Sail. Ballast. And Akiri Fearless Voyager. It's okay. It's like a one of in some builds. And Cargan War Leader. That's a weird looking face, huh? All right, all right, all right. Nothing nuts, nothing nuts. Uh, goes in the middle. There, there you go, pile. All right. Down to just a few to go. We got five more left. Five more packaroos. Boom. Come on, let's go, baby. Show me the value, daddy -o. Show me that nasty pull. I, I just want to want to have a good flip out, man. I really do. But I, I, you can't fake the funk. It's got to be, like, legit. So we need a nice, huge list pull. Oh, whoa. Morag, Fury of Akuma. Okay. That's pretty hot, baby. That's pretty hot right there. Uh, confounding Conundrums, Ds. But, man, that uh, Fury. Not bad. We'll take it. And Nahiri is binding. Okay, our mythic pulls are pretty decent, man. I would like to see uh, Omnith, though. I don't think I've pulled any Omnis. Maybe one Omnis in the very beginning from a collector booster, or maybe just a regular booster box. But, man, an, an Omnith is very, very scarce, it seems. All right, we got this thing flying around the, the way. Okay. Some of this. All right, here it goes. Here we go. On to the goodies. Got that guy. Boop. Boop. Ooh. Vessinal. There you go. The Vessinal. Whatever you want to call it. Mesa. The Mesa Lynx. Hey, I lived almost in Mesa, Arizona for a little bit. Almost in Mesa. I lived in, uh, what was it? Uh, where did I stay out there? No, I did live in Mesa for a very short while. And I'm like, wow, it's been so long. I can't remember the cities I lived in. Um, Tempe. Lived in Tempe also. Nice place. Nice little college town. That was my mid-twenties. Now you know. Learning stuff every day. Boom! Aw. Hoping for it. All right. One of this, one of that. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go, Daddy-O. Time to get the good stuff going. Felidar. We got the ballast. Oop. Oh, we got something. Got something shiny in the back. Shambler and the Dauntless. Okay, okay. So this thing just dried up. Worse than my date last night. All right, come on. Here we go. We got two more to go. Come on, baby. Come on. Here we go. Last two. We need We need to buy a new pair of shoes. Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of kicks. Let's go. All right. We got uh, one of these, one of those. Oop, oop, oop. Nope. Ooh, we did start off with uh, a lot of uncommons, though. So here we go. Yeah, yeah. We started off early with the uncommon slot. That's nutty how many uncommons you can get out of there. It's like five, six. Craziness. Crag Plate, not much value. And uh, the Wildfire, that's a cool card, though. Destroying Lands, that's a nice one right there. That's right. Okay. All right, last pack to crack, Jack, for all the marbles. Give me a, uh, what is it, a scroll rack? Call it a day. <laughs> End it there with the Tempest. Just get a scroll rack, call it a friggin' day. All right, this guy. Down a little, little itty gritty, itty gritty. Here we go. Womp, 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 womp. Base camp. Ooh, Skyclave. We got one more behind this. What's it going to be? Oh, another Cargan Intimidator. All right, nothing crazy there. And the Survivor. Okay, and a Stonybrook Banneret. Banneret? Banneret. That's a good one, though. Merfolk spells and wizard spells you play cost one less to play, and it's an island walk. So really good uh, common card right there. So uh, all in all, we pulled ourselves from the list. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Mythic-wise, we got one, 
two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty good, I'd have to say. Rares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. I think 24. We have another one over here, don't we? 24. If you count uh, the fellow over there. So, wow. 24 rares. Maybe. What do we get up in here? 24 rares and... Da -da -da -da, 25, 26. Nice little hits right there. Put those aside. And... Yeah. 26 rares all in all. Wow, and don't forget about this beautiful card. I think it's the second time I pulled that, but man, that's pretty cool. Not bad. All right, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. Get out of here, skadoosh. Making up for teenage crime. For teenage crime. Baking up for teenage.